Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.com. I'm your host Teach with Tig and in today's lesson we're looking at atoms, elements, compound. Sorry, one second. Hello. Is this Teach with Tig? Yes. You're doing the wrong channel. I'm not the free science lesson guy. Not even close. Literally no one knows who you are. I've got the camera. I've got, I've got the suit. It doesn't matter if you're not him. So you're telling me I don't have 400,000 subscribers? You're, you're joking, right? Then who's watching these videos? Wait a minute! Who are you? So I want to address it early because a lot of you have already said it on my Instagram and on my TikTok. I am not Sean from freesciencelessons.com and I have no intentions of being anything like him. What? Sean is the OG, the GOAT of GCSE Science on YouTube. But I see my content as being something completely different. Imagine the love child of Bill Nye and Deadpool. Actually not Deadpool, I'll have to be a little bit more PG. Real life Ryan Reynolds. Okay, better. Now, younger and hairier. Perfect. Whatever that would make, that's what I'm aiming to be. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure to hit that subscribe button. But for now, let's get into today's lesson on scalars and vectors. Side note, if you hang around till the end, I'll give you a top tip on scalars and vectors for your exams. So, let's start off with scalars. Scalars are anything that have a size but no direction. Like my life! They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You just so there's a whole list of different scalars you could be asked about in your exam. So I'm just going to leave a list here and you can just write them down. Pause the video, do what you want. I'll just, I'll just wait. Five minutes later. Sweet. Moving on to vectors. Vectors are things that have got size and direction. They're like that kid that's got the next 20 years of their life planned out. They know exactly where they're going. I still don't know where I'm going. Bruh. But we know life isn't that straightforward and it's not just A to B. You've got a whole journey you've got to make on the way. Here's your list of vectors if you want to take those down as well. Two hours later. Sweet. Imagine you're in a classroom and a student asks to go to the toilet. The displacement from the classroom to the toilet might look like this. So you would think it's a pretty straightforward trip. Yet it seems to take forever for them to go and come back. So let's have a look at the distance they travel. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. You know who you are. See, displacement only tells you from A to B. It doesn't tell you the distance you've traveled in between A and B, but it does give you an overall direction. Speed and velocity are really similar, but I'm gonna cover them in a separate video. Okay, let's actually be a teacher about this and let's try an example. Imagine you're driving from town A to B. We want to find the displacement of this journey. So quickly pause the video and try and figure out how we might do it. Six and a half hours later. So they've given us the two points from A to B and they've given us a scale. In the exam we should get a ruler, measure the distance between A and B and figure out based off the key how far that is. Also in the exam make sure to state the direction of that displacement. Otherwise what's the point? Sounds pretty straightforward. Okay if you've hung around this long you deserve to have that top tip for the exam. So here it is. Make sure and learn off the definition for scalars and vectors as well as knowing the difference between the equivalent scalar and vector. They just seem to love bringing up for one or two marks and it's a really easy one to do. Bonus bonus tip, if you often mix up which one's a scalar and which one's a vector, here's a nice little way of remembering which one's which. So scalars start with an S which reminds you that they've got size, but if you picture the V in vector as an arrowhead, it reminds you they've got direction. If you found this video useful, please subscribe, it's going to really help my channel and I want to put as much into this channel as possible and really just make it fun to learn science. You can also find me on Instagram and TikTok, just search for Teach with Tig. I release new content daily. Now let's pass them GC. Yes,